Have you ever noticed a strange reddish or brownish discoloration on your skin? Well, that could be a sign that your liver is in trouble. In this video, we're going to explore the surprising connection between your skin and the health of your liver. So, get ready to learn the warning signs that could save your life. First up, let's talk about liver toxicity. Liver toxicity is a pathology that arises when the liver cannot handle toxins in the body anymore and starts to swell up with toxic substances, causing inflammation and, in extreme cases, death. It could be a result of several factors such as poor nutrition, alcoholism, pollution, and some chemical substances like drugs. If the liver is not functioning properly, toxins cannot be cleansed properly, and they circulate in the bloodstream, harming the rest of the body. Skin manifestations that may be the first indication of liver diseases are itching and yellowish discoloration of the skin, known as jaundice. Next, let's take a closer look at your skin. Believe it or not, certain skin changes can be the first indicators of liver trouble. Let's start with palmar erythema. Among all of the altered skin problems, the one that is directly related to liver toxicity is palmar erythema, which is a condition characterized by redness of the palms of the hands. This is so since the liver is impaired in breaking down certain hormones that cause blood vessels to dilate and thus bring about increased blood flow to the skin. The redness tends to begin at the finger flex creases and may extend to the wrists and palms. Palmar erythema is a very effective signal that the liver is damaged and requires a professional approach to avoid worsening of the situation. Now let's talk about spider angiomas. Any of these signs may include the pale stool, the presence of blood in the stool, the appearance of numerous small spider-like blood vessels, and the existence of the red wisteria sign. These are due to the failure of the liver to control blood flow, therefore they result in the widening of tiny blood vessels around the skin. These angiomas usually form a central red area surrounded by vessels forming red lines resembling spider legs. They are most prominent in the face, neck, and upper chest areas, and therefore can be a good indicator of early signs of liver disease. Have you ever heard of jaundice? It's when your skin and eyes turn yellow. Some of the skin changes that come to light as a sign of liver toxicity include jaundice, which is a yellow coloration of the skin and the sclera of the eyes. This happens when the liver fails to metabolize a substance known as bilirubin, which results in its buildup within the bloodstream, causing a condition referred to as jaundice, characterized by yellow skin. One of the most evident symptoms of liver injury is jaundice, which can sometimes present only as a slight icterus or some kind of lemon hue. If a person has known liver issues, then he should consult a doctor immediately in case he experiences signs of jaundice, which is when the skin and the eyes turn yellow. Next up is pruritus or intense itching. Pruritus can often be just a skin ailment. However, more frequently, it might be an indication of liver pathology. The liver is said to detoxify and excrete toxic substances that are in the body. If you have liver disease, this ability will be reduced. And as a result, those toxins will accumulate in the skin and cause rashes and intense itching, which often do not respond well to therapy. Itching is one of the prominent signs of cholestatic liver diseases, which are associated with bile obstruction and affect the patient's quality of life. Control of the basic liver pathology should always be pursued when experiencing itching that lasts for more than two weeks. Let's move on to bruising easily. There is an issue with proteins involved in blood clotting where the liver is involved. However, when the liver is damaged, it should be noted that these proteins are lessened and therefore barely affect the appearance of bruises. Such symptoms like generalized bleeding tendency, which may manifest as daily bruises, especially on parts of the body rarely exposed to physical contact, are usually a pointer to a malfunctioning liver and the resultant low clotting factors. It is imperative to also observe any alterations in the patterns of bruising and consult a doctor on the same. Ever noticed yellowish plaques around the eyes? These are called xanthalasmas. Xanthalasma is a yellowish plaque around the eyes and is related to chronic cholestatic liver diseases such as PBC. These fatty deposits are due to cholesterol in the blood that may be obtained with poor bile drainage. These are usually yellow or gray, well-circumscribed, smooth, and infiltrated lesions that are mostly single or multiple and almost always located periocularly. There may not be any direct health associated with them, but they may signal liver problems that need further evaluation and treatment. Lastly, let's talk about Porphyria cutanea tarda PCT. This condition results in the formation of blisters in the skin areas exposed to the sun and excessive hair growth in the same areas. 
It is linked to liver illness and is provoked by such factors as alcohol consumption, especially in those with HCV co-infection. For PCT, the affected person is missing an enzyme necessary for heme production. Hence, photosensitive porphyrins accumulate on the skin. Sunlight affects the skin, resulting in the formation of blisters, the development of scar tissues, and tangled hair in the affected regions. This is primarily because an undiagnosed liver condition should be catered for, and some causes, such as alcohol consumption, should be avoided in patients suffering from PCT. Apart from skin changes, there are other warning signs of liver toxicity. Besides this skin manifestation, there are the following signs and symptoms that are suggestive of liver toxicity. Weakness, sweating, fatigue, pain in the belly, nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite, leg or abdomen swelling, and confusion or problems with memory. It's needed to visit the doctor if you have any of these symptoms or signs in most cases. Therefore, patients with certain conditions need to receive prompt diagnosis and begin treatment to avoid deterioration of the liver condition and critical condition. Now, what can you do to keep your liver healthy? Limit alcohol consumption. The liver is a known victim of alcohol, so one should avoid it or take it in moderation to safeguard his or her liver. Eat a healthy, balanced diet. Restriction of nutrient-dense foods such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins will also assist in preventing the liver from being toxified. Avoid exposure to toxins. Avoid toxic substances, pesticides, and other pollutants that negatively affect the liver. Take medications as directed. Ensure that you adhere to your doctor's advice on the dosage of any medicines you take since some of these are toxic to the liver. If you are attentive to the signals that your liver tries to show you and take proper care of it, you will provide this important organ with the necessary conditions for work and your skin will stay healthy. Keep an eye out for palmar erythema, spider angiomas, and jaundice, and don't hesitate to see a doctor if you notice anything out of the ordinary. Your liver and your overall well-being depend on it. What are the interesting things that you learned from today's video? Leave your thoughts below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.